Joining us now are two former Bake Off legends who know their way around the tent and a cake tip, Selassie Bomita and Jane Beadle. Good to see both of you this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what do you make of the new lineup then? Go on then, Selassie. Do you want to go first? Ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> Very gentlemanly. I'm really, really excited about it. I, it was always going to be who are going to take over from, well, all of them really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Prue's brilliant. I'm old enough to have known <laughs> of Prue for years and years and years and so years. So she's got, for people that don't know, she's got the baking credibility, the cooking ped pedigree yeah, and stuff? She has, absolutely. And she has all the gravitas that's needed to take over from somebody like Mary, who's they're very, very difficult. Eh? Mary and Oh, I don't know. Okay. Yes, I think oh. they are. I think they're friends. The world of baking, it's very small. Oh. Yeah. Well, then you'd imagine that she would know her. And, so, and that's arguably the toughest thing, because Mary Berry was such an integral and special part of the programme, wasn't she? Yes, she was. I mean, if you think Bake Off, Bake Off is Mary Berry, really, mm. um, and the, the nation's sweetheart. And it needed somebody very, very special to come in and take over from her, because her knowledge was so great. Mm. Her kindness and warmth was fantastic mm. in the tent as well. It's really good balance for Paul. You know, good cop, bad cop, if you like. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I think Prue's got that as well. Sandy Toxic, who yes. we all know, and is, is very much sort of loved and adored. And then Noel Fielding, who is one of my favourite comedians, <laughs> but very left field. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's not surprising news, to be fair, because they're both really good presenters in their field. Have we really seen him host a show, a host a show of this sort of scale? Well, that's his new challenge now. Mm. So we, we just have to wait and see again. We can't knock it till we try. So we just have to wait and see what um, they've both got to offer. And you've got Sandy, who's, of course, Danish, so she'll be good with her pastries. <laughs> 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 if she's she was, not, she's going to let her nation well, down. Well, yeah, she? I know. I know. Frankly. So, yeah, she's got that behind her. Um, and no, of course, we just have to wait and see. But I think they will ace it. So you're excited about the lineup? I'm very excited. And yeah. do we know if either Sandy or Noel can bake? Or maybe does that not matter? Is it quite nice that they're on the side of you guys and struggling with the challenges a little bit? I, I don't think it matters if they can mm. bake or not. I'm not sure whether Mel and Sue could bake. I don't think they, they could. could. <laughs> <laughs> they, do, they do like a slice of cake. Well, they though, do don't like they? a slice of yeah. cake. Yeah. And as long as you eat and enjoy it, mm. I, I, I think he'll be absolutely fine. So one of the things that everybody is concerned about was such mm. a, and actually Sandy brilliantly described it as a national treasure of a show mm. yeah. and that's the reality in a very short space in this program has become very important to lots of people all the viewers of course and keeping the heart of the show which you guys have experienced uh, it's changed both your lives I should imagine yes. um, just regardless do you think that that's still there and and really the elements aside of the hosting side of it because it's about baking that will always be there I think as long as they keep the the format, uh, the format of the show and the the, the, the love they have of, of the bakers, they, they treat us very, very carefully. Mm. They don't try and make us look foolish. And we go out of our way to make ourselves look foolish. <laughs> <sometimes> <laughs> about um, and they, 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 they nurture us. And I think as long as they keep that nurture, mm. it'll be lovely. And, and and very Sorry. Sorry, very quickly, what would be your challenge to see in this show only because they're <coughs> proving us for time? What oh, would you like sorry. to see on the new show that hasn't really been done before? To be baked. Mm. <laughs> I would like to see a combination of a couple of things. I'd like to see a thing called a gâteau saint honneur, oh. which is combining two types of pastry, puff pastry and shoe pastry. Gâteau saint honneur. Saint honneur. Uh, saint, and what about you, Celeste? Um A cronut. A cronut. Oh, a cronut. Have donut, have croissant. Which are a croissant and a donut together. Yeah, it's, it's the best thing ever. Have you, can you make them? Can you bake them? I can try. There's a <laughs> cronut there. Yes. But they're tricky to do, are they? Okay. Very tricky so to do. So cronuts and a, a gâteau saint honneur. Oh, yes, yeah. we're choosing something that hasn't been done before. And if it's yeah. something that's done before, I'd like to see them ace the fondant fancies. That yes. was your instead challenge, of, wasn't it? <laughs> instead of ice the tent, which is yeah. what I did. Ace them, don't ice them. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to seeing the Bake Off when Thank it comes you. back. It's lovely to see you both.